Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hold My Nugget Studios once again, live from AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, as the number four ranked Cincinnati Bearcats take on the number one ranked Alabama Crimson Tide in your 2021 NCAA Cotton Bowl Classic College Football Playoff Game. I like Commentary. Come late December, early January, it's a guarantee you're going to see Alabama football in a meaningful bowl game. Already inside Bearcat territory, handoff to Brian Robinson. He'd move the chains again. Cincinnati's defenses better call the Teen Titans because they got no answer for Deathstroke Slade Bolden, who goes into the end zone to give the Tide a 7-0 lead. Where is the school spirit? Where is the team pride? This man already gave up mere minutes into the football game. Ensuing drive, Cincinnati showcasing to the world why they're undefeated and they deserve to be in the college football playoff entering Crimson Tide territory. Everybody screaming and cheering, but this one lady got to be motorboating invisible titties. Two plays later, Desmond Ritter looking towards his left. He's got Tyler Scott. Give me your ankles, pussy. Takes it inside the 10-yard line. What is with these fans? Look at the Alabama fan on the left. Why does he look so concerned? Looking like his girl went too low with her tongue while licking his balls and messed around and touched his taint. My bottle can't take that abuse. And the Bearcats would cap off a 13-play, 5-minute, 60-yard drive with a field goal to cut their deficit down to four. Ensuing drive Cincinnati would bring six Bryce Young unaffected he's got the death stroke Slade Bolden to move the chains again very next play handoff to Robinson the Bearcats can't tackle him all they doing is ripping off his towel and not taking him to the damn ground two plays later activate your Madden cards take it. Just take it. Bryce Young with a little bit of trickery as Alabama would bend the rules for a game Man's entire body was across the line of scrimmage. You can't do that. You broke the rules, rules, rules. But you, I broke the rules. You breaking the rules, rules. A couple plays later, fourth and two. Look at Robinson destroy number six. The defender had all the momentum and still got his ass sat down. Robinson running through the Bearcat defense like the Black Plague ran through Europe. He'd take it all the way to the 10. Bama would settle for a field goal and take a seven-point lead. Slithering. Oh, watch, out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Holy shit. No need to worry, you know that Cincinnati offense is lethal. Alarm! Brian Robinson had over 100 yards on the ground through Alabama's first four drives of the game. Two plays later, Young would find Williams inside Bearcat territory. That lead to a 44-yard field goal that missed so wide to the left it landed in a blue state. Following another Cincinnati three and out, they'd be forced to punt the ball back to Butterfingers. Ah, grab it, man. Grab it. Hurry, hurry. Oh my god. Alabama would recover the football and retain possession, but at what cost? Looks like Jalen was a little moody and pulled the Bearcat out of the pile for no goddamn reason. That back Bama all the way inside their own 10-yard line, then a couple plays later, Young would actually legally lateral the football over to Brian Robinson, and this man is getting yardage like it's nothing. You know what? I'm about to say it. We're coming for you! Hey, watch your mouth! Under two minutes left to play in the half. The Heisman, Bryce Young, takes the snap, going down the field, got his man in Bearcat territory. And two plays later, he'd get him again. As the Heisman, Bryce Young, looking towards his left, he's got Ja'Cory Brooks with the Bearcat secondary in Cinnabar Island as he'd burn him for 44 yards, Dive into the end zone. Touchdown, Bama. Imagine if you were reincarnated as a pylon camera. I'd hate my life. Die. Ah! Trailing by two scores, under a minute left to play in the half. It's time for Cincinnati to attack. Ah! It's fourth down, nothing to lose. Heave it towards the end zone. Come here. Ah! I guess not. Into the second half we go. Cincinnati gets the first possession of the third quarter. They're already inside Bama territory. Couple plays later, handoff to Jerome Ford. He's going to pick up nine, and the Bearcats would move the chains on the next play. Third and five. Time to put points on the board in the end zone. Who said that? Who said that? They simply can't find the end zone. They'd settle for a 37-yard field goal. They cut their deficit down to 11. He already picked up 100 in the first half. Why not go for 200 in the second half? Ain't nobody able to tackle Brian Robinson. Third and six. Cincinnati's got a prime opportunity to stop Alabama right here. Why are you running? Why are you running? Cincinnati would force a punt, but their offense continues to struggle with another three and out. God! Damn it! And although it's been a week since Christmas, the Heisman, Bryce Young, would go out there and give out some donations, gifts, gifts. Dude, what the fuck? 
gave the football straight to the defender. Cincinnati gets the ball back. It's time to take advantage. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Somebody call the mortician for Cincinnati's offense. They can't do a goddamn thing. Bama gets the ball back, and they're already at the 45. Two plays later, handoff to Robinson. Carries a couple Bearcats inside Cincinnati territory. Somebody go to the Poke Mart and grab some iron for Cincinnati's defense. They weak as hell. It seems like every play, Nick Saban's offense is saying, That was easy. A personal foul on the defense would put Bama inside the 10-yard line, and then Cameron Latou would go into the end zone. Zone Bama leads 24 to 6. It's over, ladies and gentlemen. Bama fans already beginning to celebrate, but Cincinnati not ready to quit inside their territory. Look at the optimism on the face of every woman in this clip. They're still cheering on the Bearcats, believing that they can win. Now look at the men. They already know the inevitable. You're not scoring three touchdowns on Alabama in the fourth quarter. It's over. It's over, ladies and gentlemen. But Desmond Ritter doesn't give a hoot. Looking towards the end zone, he's got Trey Tucker for the score! And the Bearcats finally find the... Not only did Tucker not survive the ground, he had the ball ripped out of his hands from battle. Fuck! Two plays later on fourth and three. Surprise, motherfucker. Now get your bitch ass on the floor! Failure! That's it, man. Game over, man. Game over. The Bearcat faithful beginning to lose hope. Brian Robinson running all over their dreams. Because on this carry, he'd go over 200 yards on the day with 10 minutes left to play. If Nick Saban really wanted him to, Mans could have went for 300. Alabama takes a 27-6 lead. Under five minutes remaining in Cincinnati season. Watch out for that banana. Police! Ensuing drive with three minutes left to play. This game being out of reach. Alabama with total 301 yards rushing on the day as they would crush the championship dreams of Cincinnati. <laughs> it's over. As Nick Saban's Crimson Tide takes down Cincinnati and advances to their sixth national championship since the inception of the college football playoff as they tell the Bearcats to take out their metro card and to get aboard the L train and despite this magnificent season undefeated up until this point you've arrived at elimination station because you go somewhere different for your failures of ending the reign of Alabama your failures of overcoming the Crimson Tide. Consider your names written down the death note because your dreams of being crowned national champions has been absolutely deleted. There's only one thing left to do. Gotta write their names in the death note. Delete. 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 Delete, delete, delete. Delete, delete, delete. You will rest in peace. Do it! Just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just